matching breath with movement as long as some strengthening and lengthening and balancing poses that is going to build heat and work on creating and maintaining that strength and balance and flexibility through the whole body. So we're going to begin in a comfortable, easy seated position or lotus pose. You can cross your feet. We want the sit bones to be firmly grounded into the mat. We're going to roll the shoulders back and down and just close our eyes for a second. And breathe in through the nose out through the mouth finding that normal breath pattern and then beginning to deepen your inhales lengthen your exhales still your mind focus on the present. Bringing our hands to heart center. As we progress into our Ujjayi Pranayama breath, we seal our lips and find that exhale through the nose, creating that ocean breeze sound. Maybe you're feeling the movement of the air in the back of your throat. Letting your eyes flutter open. We're going to inhale, close palms up to our crown chakra. Taking a moment here for another deep breath in. Feeling light and energy radiating from the top of our head. And extend those arms up. Exhale, open down. Coming into easy seated twist. Let's take our right hand. Place it on our left knee, our left hand behind us, and turn, looking towards the wall, past that shoulder. And back to center, placing our left hand on our right knee, and our right hand behind us, taking a nice, easy twist.
and inhale, coming up, exhale, lower the arm, inhale, bringing the arm up, and exhale, stretch through the left side of the body. Finding a nice big opening right in here. And exhale back to center. Once again, walking our hands out in front of us, keeping those hips pressed into the mat, engaging through the upper body, pressing the palms of your hands into the floor and drawing the shoulder blades back as you reach forward. Drop that belly down. Nice deep inhale and exhale. Pull that belly button through the spine. Round the shoulders, finding that arched back like a cat. And come finding that tabletop position. Taking a moment to line everything up so the hips are over the knees, shoulders are over the wrists. Finding that neutral spine, nice and strong. Gaze down at your mat. Take a little lateral movement, shifting the hips from side to side. Finding stillness. We're going to reach that right arm up to the sky. Rotate that wrist both directions. Threading the needle, passing the right arm under the left, taking that shoulder to the mat. Transition. 
positioning into that side lunge and reaching up and over into that gate pose. Exhale, bringing it back down to the mat, sitting the hips back in child's pose. From here, we're going to inhale into plank position, holding that nice strong plank, shifting so the shoulders are over the wrists. We're going to push the heels back, bring the hips up, shift into our first downward facing dog of our practice today. Taking a moment here, go ahead, pedal it out. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, walking your feet to your hands, finding ragdoll pose. Opposite hand grab, opposite elbow. Hinge at the hip, soft bend in the knee, let that body hang heavy. Take a little sway back and forth. Shake out that head, shake out all the tension in the neck. Go ahead, reverse the grip on your arms. And we're gonna relax the arms down, soften the knee, slowly rise up. Finding that strong mountain pose. Deep breath in, feet just slightly apart, shoulder blades drawn back together, fingertips extended long, feeling the energy once again, rooting down through the base of your feet and up through the crown of your head. From the top of our mat, inhale, sweeping the arms up overhead, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, hands resting on your shins. Exhale, plant your hands, step back into that plank position. Finding that chaturanga, you can lower halfway down or come all the way down, finding your cobra or your up dog. Lifting those thighs up off the mat, tucking the toes, finding downward facing dog. Taking two deep breaths here, in through the nose, Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive, soften the legs, scoop the arms up, and bring them together. Seal the mountain pose. Again, inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back into plank, finding that flow. Tucking the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky, finding that prayer, pulling it through heart center. And mountain pose. One last set of these sun A's, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back into plank and chaturanga. Up dog, downward facing dog. Two deep breaths here. Inhale, right toes high. Exhale, shift forward, knee to nose. Inhale, extend the right leg up. Exhale, opposite knee to elbow, right knee to left elbow. Inhale, bring it up and pull it, right knee to right elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, pulling that leg all the way through, finding crescent lunge, pulling the arms up. Exhale, plant the hands, step back into plank, chaturanga. 
Tuck the toes. Downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up, finding chair pose. Holding that chair. Nice and strong. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Plant the hands, step back into plank, taking that flow. Exhale, left toes high, full knee to nose. And extend high. Left knee to right elbow, crossing through. And high. And left knee to left elbow, nice and strong. Extend up. And pull that leg all the way through, finding crescent lunge, left leg forward. Nice and strong. And bring it down to your mat. Step your back into plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog. And downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, hopper step to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep it up, finding chair. Holding that chair pose. I'm gonna face you here. Pull your hands into heart center. Draw the shoulder blades back. Adjust that tailbone so there's no pressure. Maybe sitting just a little lower in that chair. We're gonna lengthen the spine. And on the next exhale, taking that revolving chair, that twist. Using caution that one knee isn't pulling back. You're keeping them nice and line. So if you find that you have that right knee pulling back with the left elbow pressed against it, go ahead, pull that left hip back to bring those knees back in alignment. Turning to look up, option to fly open the arms here. And taking the arms back into prayer twist. Inhale, coming up to center. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Plant the hands, step or hop back into plank. Chaturanga. Downward facing dog. Taking the right toes high. Pulling it forward. Once again, finding that crescent lunge. And plant the hands, step back into plank and flow through that vinyasa. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, hop or step to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep up once again, holding that chair nice and long. Pulling the hands down to heart center. Lengthen the spine. Exhale, taking that revolving chair, that nice twist. Knees stay in alignment with each other. Gaze up the ceiling. Option to open those arms. Bringing them back into twist. Inhale. Lengthen. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Plant those hands, step back into plank, and chaturanga. Downward dog, left toes high, and pull it into crescent lunge, reaching long. Exhale down, step back into plank, taking that flow, optional, always the option to meet and down dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, hop or step to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach all the way up, sealing that series in mountain pose. Nice and strong, taking two deep breaths here. 
Feeling that heat generating through the body. A powerful flow, increasing the heart rate, building fire within that core. From the top of our mat in mountain pose, we're stepping our left foot back into warrior one. Taking a few moments to find a great warrior stance, back foot planted to the mat, front leg bent, knee in line with the foot over the ankle, hips square to the top of your mat. We're gonna sweep the arms back, extend them long, and take it forward to a humble warrior, bringing that right shoulder down towards that right knee. From here, we're gonna release the arms down, turn that back foot, finding that crescent lunge or that runner's lunge, and open up the right arm to the sky. Bringing it back down to the mat, planting that foot back down, open it up all the way into warrior two. Hips spacing the long edge of your mat, sinking down into that foot, Pushing the edges of your mat out. Flipping that palm up, reaching back into that reverse warrior. And up into side angle. From here, once again, Sweeping that arm around, switching it back to that crescent lunge. Plant the hands down to the mat. Stepping back, taking that vinyasa. Downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, hop or step to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Bringing them to heart center. I'm gonna switch sides here. Stepping back, finding warrior one. Reaching long. Sweeping the arms back behind us and taking that left shoulder down to the left knee, towards that left knee. And releasing the hands down, stepping back into that runner's lunge, planting the right hand, reaching the left hand tall. Bringing that left hand down, planting that back foot, pull it up into that strong warrior two, finding that alignment, Pressing that foot into the mat. Feeling the oppositions of your legs pushing in different directions. Flip that palm up. Take it back to that reverse warrior. Beautiful. Gazing up at those fingertips. Coming into side angle. Resting that forearm just gently on the thigh. Hand nice and long. Coming back into warrior two and cartwheel your hands down to the mat. Step back into plank and take that vinyasa flow if you'd like or just knee in downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, hop or step to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up, finding that prayer. Once again, I'm gonna switch sides, stepping back, 
Warrior one. This time, make a steeple grip with those fingers. Draw the shoulder blades down. Reach long as we exalt our warrior, keeping the bicep by the ears. And coming back down all the way to the floor, finding that runner's lunge. Planting the right hand, or left hand down, reaching the right hand up. Option to take that back knee down, if that's more comfortable. Reaching tall. And from here, planting the hands down, pushing through that base leg, nice and strong. Finding that standing split. Option to use a block. Maybe increasing the intensity by placing one hand or both on that base ankle. Beautiful. And go ahead, plant that back leg back down. Pull yourself up. Cartwheeling those arms, finding that warrior two. Lifting that palm up, reverse the warrior. And taking extend or side angle, progressing to extended side angle. If that's in your practice today, nice and strong. And pulling it. Up to center, cartwheeling down to the mat. Stepping back into that plank, chaturanga. Downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, hop or step to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And take a deep breath. Holding those hands in prayer at heart center. Stepping back, warrior one, right leg back. Reach those hands up, finding that steeple grip. Send the hips forward, draw the shoulders down, exalt your warrior. In the center, taking those hands all the way down into that runner's lunge, lifting that back heel, open up that left arm to the sky. Planting that hand back down, setting up for our standing split on the left side, pushing forward. Bringing that right leg up, finding their balance. Maybe play around with lifting those fingertips. Maybe grabbing that base ankle. Remember to ground through the four corners of that foot. And breathe. Holding our breath makes it harder to hold the pose. And beautiful, come down. Open it up, warrior two. So strong. Lift that hand, reverse our warrior. Beautiful job. Coming into side angle or extended side angle, keeping that elbow in line with the knee, reaching long. So powerful. Inhale, center. Cartwheel the hands down, step back, taking our last vinyasa flow before we move on to standing balance. Tuck the toes, downward dog, beautiful. Two deep breaths here. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, hop or step to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift, flat back, exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up, pull them through heart center, and 
Feel that movement in mountain pose, nice and strong. Today's standing balance series will be dancer's pose. You're gonna sweep the arms up overhead, pulling that right arm down to your side, kicking that right leg up like a flamingo. Reach back and you can grab that ankle or the inside arch of that foot. Keeping those shoulders back. Repressing the foot into the arm. Finding balance. Using that base leg as your nice, strong trunk and kick against that hand, creating that bow. This is also known as standing bow pose or dancer's pose. As that leg comes forward, it presses the torso down and breathe. If you fall out, just get right back in. Two more breaths here, Woo. and release it, I fell out. Beautiful, shake it out. Coming into the second side, sweep the arms up overhead, finding that flamingo stance, reach back, lifting up through the torso, finding your balance. Once you have a nice strong base and solid balance, kick that hand against that foot. And as it expands into that bow, letting that torso just drop down slightly. down, shake it out, beautiful. Just taking a nice wide stance to the outer towards the long edge of our mat. We're going to take our hands out to a T and hinge forward. Wrapping those hands around the ankles, maybe the heels, slight bend in the knee, pull the chest towards the thighs. Planting the hands down, we're going to shift to the right side. Finding that side lunge. Option to take, release those hands and try taking a balance here. Draw the shoulder blades back. Release, coming back to center. Once again, taking a nice, deep standing straddle stretch here. And placing the hands down, walking it down to the left side. Taking it to whatever, maybe this is where you're at today. Beautiful. Take it down to whatever level works for you. Finding that deep opening. And breathe. Huge, powerful pose here. Nice job. Release it down. Come back to center. Heel, toe your feet. In slightly. Placing the left hand on the mat. Open the right hand into another revolving twist here. Taking the right hand down, left hand up. And back down. We're going to come into a seated position, finding that boat pose. Holding it nice and strong through the abdominal.
abdominals. Beautiful job. And let's lower down, hollowing ourselves out into that canoe pose, holding it here. For three, two, and relax all the way down to the floor. Let's pull those knees to the chest, rock side to side. Setting up for our peak spinal pose, which will be wheel pose, we're going to start with a hip bridge, placing the feet down on the mat. Pressing the hips into the mat, arms out to the side, palms down. You're just going to inhale, lifting the hips up. Nice base through the shoulders. And lower the hips. Bringing the elbows in. You're going to walk yourself up so you're lying on your elbows, feet nice and long, and you're going to arch back into fish. That chest is nice and open. And lowering back down to the mat, pulling the knees into the chest. Take a little rock side to side and plant the legs once again coming into that hip bridge rolling the shoulders underneath you finding that chest expansion so the chin is lifted slightly off the chest like you have an orange in there so you're not cutting off the airway Nice flat back. And release down, pulling the knees to the chest, rolling side to side. Option here to come into full wheel or you can take another bridge or come back into fish. For full wheel, your hands are up like this, fingers pointed to the back, and you're gonna bring them down by the ear so your fingertips point towards your shoulder. And you're gonna reach the hips up towards the sky, releasing that head. So we never wanna put any pressure on the neck. You're gonna reach the hips, the belly, the chest, and push that head up off the ground. Holding it here, remembering to breathe. And as you come out of it, gently roll down through the spine, through the low back, through the tailbone. Pull those knees into your chest. Rock side to side. Huge power for a pose there. So we're gonna take a moment in this position for those of you that would maybe like to try a second set of wheel. If full wheel is not in your practice, let's just take our legs and straighten them with feet flexed like they're up against a wall. Just let all that energy, all that blood flow make its way back down, revitalizing, point and flex. Rotate the feet. And if you are in full wheel, coming down out of it, everyone meeting in this leg up the wall position, coming into our inversion today of shoulder stand. Placing the hands underneath the tailbone, we're gonna lift the hips up Stacking everything on top of the shoulders. 
nice and long. Option to just stay with that leg up against the wall pose. See if you can really straighten that up. Careful to not put pressure on that neck. And then letting those toes slowly lower down into plow pose. bringing one foot then the other back into shoulder stand and slowly bringing the hips down to the floor lowering the legs for four and three and two and pulling the right knee to your chest. Left leg is long. Go ahead, open that leg up to the right armpit. And back to center. Crossing it over into that supine twist. Taking the right knee, pulling it over the left side of the body. The right arm is long out to the side and the gaze is following the right fingertips. So you're in a full spinal twist. Taking a moment to really breathe into that twist, finding a full release in that spine. It's like you're wringing out a towel, except instead of water, it's negativity. Coming back into center, pulling that knee back to the chest, stretching it long, getting a nice open stretch through the back of the leg. Setting the right leg long, pulling the left leg up, opening it up to that left armpit. Nice big stretch through the hips. Cross it over, pulling the left leg over the right side of the body, left arm long. Gaze towards the left fingers, so you're facing the opposite direction of your leg, getting a nice twist in the spine, just like you're wringing out anything that you don't need in your body. Letting the breath you take be new energized breath that replaces the negative thoughts and energy that are leaving. Coming back to center, let's take that left leg long, feeling a nice stretch through the back of the leg. Here. 
left leg under and the right leg over so your knees are stacked. So it's like the lips of a cow, which is I think where they get the name from. You're gonna inhale up, the right arm back, sorry, left arm around, reaching the fingertips towards each other. They may or may not touch, that's fine. But you're gonna inhale, open, push those elbows open. Keeping the shoulders relaxed down. Finding that seated forward fold, taking the legs out in front of you and hinge at the hips. Maybe softening the knees, pulling that chest a little bit closer to the thighs. face pose on the other side, tucking the right leg under, bringing the left leg around, stacking those knees on top of each other. Always the option to leave that leg straight out in front of you if it's uncomfortable to bring them both into that <laughs> severely <laughs> strong, strong bent position. Reaching the right arm behind, sweeping the left arm up, dropping the palms down so your fingertips are reaching towards each other. See if you can keep both those hips planted on the mat. Push the elbows back, open the chest. Find that place where there's no judgment, no judgment upon you, no judgment from you. Maybe you're lying on the sand, pure white, soft warm sand. You can feel your body sinking into the sand. It's so soft. It's like lying on flour. As you feel the warmth of that sand holding you and supporting you, making you feel grounded. and safe. You can feel it sifting through your fingers. Sticking to your toes. Looking up at the sky, which is a brilliant blue. The most beautiful fluffy white clouds are rolling by. 
Maybe you see shapes in the clouds. Maybe you just enjoy their soft fluffiness, the ease at which they travel through the sky as if nothing is holding them back. Their ability to move and change and flow. And as the clouds roll by, the bright sun shines through. Each ray finding a spot on your skin. Like it's going through your body, into your belly, into your heart, into your soul, filling you with warmth and power and energy. You can hear the water lapping on the beach. brilliant emerald hues of the ocean in the horizon. Palm trees overhead, luscious and green, fluttering gently in the breeze. A breeze that helps remove negative energy. Just like it blows the pollution from the sky, it can blow the pollution from within your mind and heart. Just taking a moment to see all the colors, to feel the earthly elements, the grounding of the earth, cool, refreshing water, the warmth of the sun, and the cleansing spirit of the wind as it blows through the trees. Knowing that each element has its purpose in keeping us whole and in tune with ourselves. more moments to rest peacefully in this spot.
wrists and toes. Moving those wrists, ankles, knees, elbows, shoulders. Pulling one knee, then the other up to your chest. Rolling to your favorite side and just resting there a moment. Letting your eyes open. And when you're ready, slowly making your way up to an easy seated position. Crossing the legs, bringing the hands to prayer at heart center. Finding stillness in our lives is always so difficult, whether we're trying to still our body or still our mind. Taking these moments to breathe and reflect and become in tune with our thoughts and feelings is so beneficial and so helpful in keeping us balanced and whole and healthy. Thank you so much for letting me guide you through this practice. It truly is an honor and a privilege. Go forward, be kind, see the good in yourselves and each other. Taking your palms up to the third eye, sending positive energy to each and every one of you. Bowing forward, namaste. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. It truly, truly is my pleasure to be able to bring you these classes every week. Have a wonderful, have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day.